the powerful testimony of a Jamaican sister in Christ about the death of her son. This is narrated by Jade Shola. This is Sister Brown's written heart-wrenching testimony. Though she has been through hardship, she has made a vow unto the Lord and is determined to perform it. Good day, brothers and sisters. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I just want to give honour and praise to the bigger man upstairs, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. God has been so good to me. I accepted the Lord from a very tender age, and God is good and he is faithful. He is able to keep us. I got married at age 23. There were good days and there were days when I thought I could not make it through another day. But God kept me and I'm still standing. My husband and I celebrated 23 years of marriage in April 2004. And in May of that year, my husband took sick and died on the 9th, leaving three children and myself but I can truly say God has helped me with our children and now they are adults standing on their own and serving the Lord over those and over the Lord gave me strength to go through the sixth day of March was one of my hardest struggles I had lost my husband two years and ten months earlier. My oldest son was my rock. He was the one that was helping me with his siblings, paying for schooling, food and clothing expenses, utility bills, etc. But the psalmist David says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He promises to make a way. It was on the 6th of March 2007 when I thought I had reached rock bottom. My eldest son met in an accident driving home from work on a Tuesday evening. My birthday was the next day, the 7th of March. I was a vendor selling at the local secondary school when a lady came to me and told me what had happened to my son. At that moment, I thought I was in a dream. My daughter was standing beside me before we heard the news. To be honest, I don't know what happened after hearing that my first child had died. But getting hold of myself, I left everything and just started to walk. At that time, everything that I sold at school was unprotected and no one was there, but God shortly afterwards sent someone to take care of my stock at the school. Meanwhile, they had taken my son to the hospital 30 miles from our district, so that was my destination. I fainted before I had made one mile of my journey. I remember someone hugging me and said, you can't do this, where are you going? Now, my youngest son was waiting for his brother to pick him up. I had instructed them earlier to meet their aunt and give her some personal items I had promised her. Local residents had to take me to the doctor that very evening. One songwriter say, I almost give up. I didn't know I could have made it through. I thought I would have gone crazy but God kept me. Today, I can report victory. I am more than a conqueror. It's not easy, but without God, we can't make it. 
God knows we can, what we can handle. He is a sustainer. His grace is sufficient to keep us. It doesn't matter what we are going through. One songwriter said, In the rock I hide, in his shadow I'll abide. When the storms of life are raging over me, in the rock I hide. I'm not saying the Christian life is difficult all the time, but with God by our side, we can make it. Weeping may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 27 verse 14 says, Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. I just want to encourage everyone to keep Jesus at the centre of your life and let him lead us in the right way. God bless you all and remember, he is the captain of our ship. My son did not die at the crash site, but in hospital that day. He did not have a mark on his body, but the passenger side of the car was wrecked. Remember me in your prayers. Love and blessings. Sister S. Brown. A closing prayer. Lord, thank you for your love and care towards us. I pray that you will continue to be my strength throughout this day and the days to come. Please forgive me for all my sins and iniquities. I also pray that Christ's blood will always cleanse me and make me whole. Lord, I praise you and thank you for all your goodness and mercy towards me and my loved ones. Go before us and keep us safe in everything that we do. Do not let any harm come to us. Hold us up and deliver us from trouble. Give us long life. Please grant my desire in Jesus' holy and precious name, I pray. Amen. Psalms 91 verses 11 to 12 For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Amen. Thank you for your interest. Freedom for the people of God. Feel free to contact us at sisterb at freedom.group. Give us a thumbs up, please subscribe and also share.